We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. It is more Octopath Traveler 2 time. And we are Oswald, the gagged, I guess, silent uh, scholar who was wrongfully accused of murder and a lot of bad stuff. So, kind of a horrible backstory. Uh, I imagine most of these folks have a relatively bad backstory. We'll see. Oh. There are not so many guards watching the cafeteria during this shift. All right. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. Oh. Now we're just going to jump right to the third piece. All right. I got you. Uh, during the day, Oswald can scrutinize to glean new knowledge from townspeople. All right. What's up? Hey, hey, prisoner to prisoner, what say we help each other out? Uh. Hmm. 53, prisoner number 321078. Our impression of him is flippant. A footlicker who reports misconduct to prison guards the second he witnesses it. Yeah, not a good idea. Which has made him most unwelcome among the other prisoners. Snitches get. No, this one won't do. To not be part of our plans. I like watching people enjoy their food. <laughs> uh-huh. Scrutinize. Hmm. 35. Prisoner number 257134. Mass poisoning. Oh, dear God. Uh, his sentence is 153. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to go with him. If you have business with me, you must schedule an appointment through my butler first. Oh, because you have one of those. Cool. All right. Is he's 34. His prisoner number is 310549. A prisoner who was once an aristocrat. He seems cultured and intellectual, but is prone to leaps in subject as well as sudden bouts of shouting and unruliness. Yeah, I don't think he's a good choice. No. I cannot tie my fortunes to this prisoner. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. All right, leaves us with very few options. What do you want? All right, I'm going to scrutinize you, buddy. Hmm. 27, his name's Emerald. He's prisoner number 294025. He has been sentenced for uh, or two 30 years, a well-known figure around the prison, his exceedingly wary demeanor belies a sense of determination unlike any other. Interesting. Determined, you say? You there. A word. Determined. What are you playing at? Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. Yeah, you know. It's what I do. Unlike doubting. <laughs> ah. Right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. Yeah. Yes, yes. This is, a, this is a true statement, sir. I've been watching you. Ooh. You know. Creepy. For the last five years. That is that is a long time. And all that time you've been feigning difference when you surveilled the place. Right? <sighs> the other prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything. I mean, not much else to do when you can't communicate, right? Watching for minute differences. Like you're making some sort of audit. As far as I'm concerned, only two types of prisoners watch silently for five years. Hungry beasts. And people plotting an escape. That's it. <clears throat> if it's the former, I know someone who can help. But if it's the latter... So, which one are you, Professor? Shake your head if you're the former. Or nod if you're the latter. You expect me to have paid enough attention to what you said? To, no, I... We are the latter. <laughs> so, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Thank you. 
I was hoping you'd notice. Now, for my formal request. I went in on your plan. Oh? I do need a help. Hmm. I do need a friend. I can be of use to you. You'll see. Sure. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. How long have you been there? That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information's good. <laughs> you could do far worse, Professor Jailbreak. Uh, maybe don't say that out loud. <laughs> I mean, you don't hear me saying anything about it. Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot through mere observance. Uh, uh. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares. Well, he's the informant, not... I can certainly use him to my advantage. Well... I knew you'd see it my way. Is it your way or the highway? So, what would you have me do? What can I do for you? Hmm. To talk like, uh... What, was it Oswald the Blacksmith? I think it was. Yeah, I think that was his name. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember the name of the Blacksmith. Sorry. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. That is forward thinking, yes. I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Interesting choice. Go on. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. It's Griswold, not For Oswald. For that will be the date we make our escape. Say, Oswald didn't sound quite right. Sorry, sorry. I got distracted there. Apologies. What can I do for you? Understood. That won't come easily. Not impossible, though. I'll contact you once I have us. Sweet. <clears throat> One more thing. Oh? Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. That that is fair. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? Indubitably. All right, so we got ourselves an accomplice, <laughs> or a confidant. The plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Okay, we got to go check the escape route, and we have to go procure clothing. Oh wait. Uh, we had so many more Oswald. things to do. Why are we laying down? I was not done yet. Oswald. Huh. Have you found the answer? This is Harvey Dent. Can we trust him? Why are we... <laughs> we did one of three things. To work, maggots! Move! Okay. Back out in the cold again. After forced labor. Now I simply need to determine an escape route and uh, procure suitable cold weather wear. Someone who knows the history of this place should be able to point me in the right direction. I should seek out the prisoner they call the provisioner if I want cold weather wear. And the question is, which to procure first? Okay, well, that's, that's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> Do filthy murderers like you even have hearts? 
Hmm. Let's see what we have about our guard here. He's 33, a long-serving guard on this island. Physically and verbally assaulting the prisoners is a fact of life for him now. When he first joined, he had high hopes for the prisoners' rehabilitation. But the prison has changed him. Well, there's some social commentary. I'd rather be out here in the cold than locked up in that cell. They say home is where you make it. But who the hell can make this place a home? It's fair. Hmm. Prisoner number 293612, manufacturer and sale of illegal concoctions. 43 years old. Or, sorry. Uh, 43 years for his uh, sentence. He's 31 years old. What's up, man? Oh, wait, I already we did this. Yeah, 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 I know. Stop. I need to play my imaginary air flute there. All right, uh, prisoner number 321154, trespassing, theft, murder, 64 years sentence. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. You want to talk to him? All right. How about you? Hey, muzzle mouth, wipe that smug look off your face, eh? Let me play the air flute again. Hmm. Uh, 37, a firm believer that justice is served when the prisoners suffer and that they must be guided with a firm, unsparing hand. He greatly admires Warden uh, Davids and um, hopes to take his place. Well, that's not great. You need a better role model, kid. I'm playing around. I'm the new guard. Oh, oh, there's a guard up here. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Fire is so warm and toasty. Air flute. Hmm. 43, he's 220024. Serial arson murder, 214 years. I don't think he's going to live out that sentence. I'm just saying. He, he guns to try, but I don't think he's guns to make it. Oh, interesting. Hello, sir. Air flute. Hmm. 41. This impossibly silent man is charged with document creation at the prison. Said silence is born of a deep-seated hatred of every prisoner on the island. Perhaps the only saving grace is that his silence keeps him from becoming yet another voice for raiding the inmates. I don't think he's going to be all that helpful. I'm just going to steal this thing and some arrows and... You guys are giving me, like, a lot of uh, wiggle room to move around. Kind of surprised by this. Did I already... You? No. Hmm. Right. 35. Prisoner number 296432. Fraud, perjury, forgery, 18 years sentence. Prisoner is delusional and a pathological liar. You're better off not knowing what I've done. Well, I mean, I suppose. All right, sir. I'm going to have to come back to you in a minute. I want to come over here first. Oh, well, hello. Hey, Professor, we got some new thesis papers in. Air flute in the way. The guard is 40, a timid guard who doubles as the prisoner, or sorry, the prison librarian. He avoids trouble at all costs and lets the prisoners do as they please. Thus, while officially, sorry, official policy states that books are not to be taken out of the library, he generally looks the other way. Oh, he's not a terrible guy, I guess, considering we're like surrounded by terrible guys. Hey, I'll talk to you over here in the corner in this darkness. Ruler of land, conqueror of sea. Maybe I'll read this one next. <laughs> All right, prisoner age 34, prisoner number 300328, theft, illegal commerce, 22 years for a sentence. Prisoner stole and sold a rare book belonging to the Order of the Sacred Flame. The book's whereabouts remain unknown. Really? That got you in that much trouble, dude? That's uh, kind of terrifying. All right. We're batting a thousand here on various different things. Can't go that way. Can't go this way. Hey, 
talking to you over here. All right. So I, I now have a slight problem. And that slight problem is I don't know where my objective is. I know we can talk to the guy over here, and we're going to do that. But what I don't actually know is where is our escape path? Well, there's supposed to be a place that we need to go check further in, but I suppose maybe we can only do one thing at a time. All right, talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so much about. Hmm. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. Mm hmm. Mm. The name's Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. That was easy. I can secure most anything people ask for. I want a Not new blanket. money, given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them. If you know what I mean. Uh, no. <laughs> I like that gleam in your eye, buddy. So, he won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness... An elbow to the teeth is always a good place to start. Or finish. I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. Really? I gotta go scrutinize some more people? I've already scrutinized people. This is what I do. I scrutinize. I want to scrutinize him. Hmm. 35 291055. Known to many as a provisioner, he is capable of acquiring most anything asked of him, albeit at a rather on onerous cost. I was going to be like, onerous cost. I'm like, that's not. Scrutinize the person who knows his weakness. I mean, I feel like I already scrutinized every. Oh, this guy's new. Well, oh, I don't want to scrutinize you. Talk to me. There's no room for you here, muzzle mouth. Get lost. I'm from the 1920s. Nah. What? Hmm. He's 28. Uh, prisoner number 304916. Human trafficking, 28 years prison. Prisoner is extremely violent. Former human trafficking victim turned human trafficker. Oh, that sucks. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. Oh, you don't, do you? Stab the guard, run away. If I ever make it out of here, I want to open my own bookstore, eh? Hmm. Okay, 35. Prisoner number 293533, 98 year sentience. A relatively mild mannered prisoner compared to the others, he was unable to read upon incarceration. Learn to do so under the library guard's tutelage. Oh, well, good for him. I don't believe this prisoner, no. Yeah, I don't think so either. He doesn't seem to type. Hey, buddy. How long is your sentence? I got 27 years to go. All right. Hmm. 291056, 33 years old. Warden Davis, sorry, uh, Davids, or Davids, as it were. Uh, Davids uh, dropped his coin purse the other day. This prisoner watched as Bale picked it up. He doesn't dare tell a soul, though, as Bale knows his weakness. He's got some information. He's got Bale's weakness. Here it is. Surely this is the provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. Uh, I gleaned Bale's weakness. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. Finally come to pay me, have you? I didn't told you what I wanted yet, man. Hmm. Uh, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? It's your face. What? Where did you get this? Uh, fairies told me. It's a real problem R around here. Whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. You see my mouth situation. Cold weather wear obtained, baby. What? Hmm. No idea how I'm going to get that in my cell. My plan proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. Probably. Uh-oh. Back to your cells, you animals. Okay. More work. That will have to wait. Back to the hole for now. 
Oswald. Yeah? Have you found the answer? So many times. At least 11 of them. 11 answers. Oh. No, Harvey. Though I have a theory. Uh oh. Behold this small oh. flame. Nothing exceptional. I mean, I'm impressed. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in theory, its power is multiplied. That doesn't cause you any concern. However, as long as it remains a flame, its power is limited. Okay. Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. You're a genius, Oswald. Thank you. I was hoping you'd notice. The one true magic. You're one step closer to it, to standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. Uh, okay. Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. Uh. Sharing some info you probably shouldn't be sharing. Oh, he's real upset. Time to work, you worthless sacks of meat. Up and out. Appreciate you. All right, two of the three parts of our plan are now in motion. After forced labor, we get another break. All I need now is a suitable escape route. Someone who knows the history of this place should be able to point me in the right direction. I mean, I feel like I already walked everywhere. Let, let's see if we can at least narrow down where I need to go. <laughs> You'd think it would be the librarian. Hey, professor, can leave these papers in? Nope, not going. Not guns to be you. Oh, I hadn't been I in here. I must find a prisoner ah. familiar with the underground passage. That's fair. Okay, uh, underground passage, familiar thing, fumbling in the dark. Okay. Well, I mean, I I had other plans, honestly, but this is probably fine. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Hey. I got an inspiring plum, and I am not going to share that with anyone. That is my fruit to, to, to fend off scurvy. Okay, well, it looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here, but we're going to break off the episode here, and the next episode we will find our prisoner who has the info we need, and it's probably this guy, and we will uh, see what's up. Could be a bunch of different people. We'll talk to everybody. We'll see what's going on. And yeah, we'll continue with our adventure with Oswald and the Great Escape in the next episode. Till then, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>